Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I appreciate you coming by to watch my uh, video here. So I recently purchased a 1998 Honda Civic, a um, little project car. It was good gas mileage. I'm My normal day-to-day -day job, I drive back and forth about 35 miles each way every day. So I picked up this car, got a pretty good deal on it, had a lot of issues, 236,000 miles, and I decided I was going to do a compression test before I yank the engine and do some other work, which I'll share another video on. So Right now, I'm just taking the hood off, make it a little easier. Like I said, I'm going to do some engine work, so I decided to take the uh, the hood off right here. Do it during this, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this hood off real quick. All right, looks like my little boy decided to join me here. He comes in and out once in a while. Seven years old, but he's learning. He doesn't quite get it, but he will. He loves playing with my tools, I know that much. So I'm getting the distributor unplugged. I want to make sure that when I do my compression test, I don't want the plug wires firing off. Um, you can also unplug the injectors depending on how much you plan on cranking. I'm not real concerned about it because I'm pulling the motor out after this, so not a big concern for me. Um, stock plug wires on this car, which is totally fine. I have no intention on upgrading those or stock on the wires, the original wires from the looks of things. Um, and they'll work great for a long time, so hopefully I'll be able to keep those. Pulling the plugs out one at a time. And I had put some plugs in this car um, right after I bought it, which is just a couple months prior to this video, um, just because it wasn't running quite as good as I'd like it to. And, of course, the gaps were just, just destroyed. Their plugs probably had a good sixty or 70,000 miles on them. So pull the plugs out and get ready to uh, put my compression tester on. All right, so I've broken up my trusty locking forceps that I actually got from my Snap-on guy about six or seven years ago. And I use these a lot when I'm pulling plugs out of long runs like this, dual overhead cam, single overhead cam when I'm getting inside um, because I don't want them damaging them. I'm showing the nice white tips on these uh, plugs. So I have some concerns with this engine, and we'll talk about that in my other video, but I wanted to take a look at those plugs. They're only a couple months old. I'll show you what those plugs look like. And those forceps come in really handy when you're doing stuff like that, picking those, in, pulling them out or dropping them in. So clearing some more space on my shelf. All right, I've got a Matco compression tester and I've had it for several years. I like it a lot, works pretty well. Um, set up universal to work on pretty much any car I haven't run into any situations where I couldn't use it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and screw the extension in to the plug hole. I'm going to start with number one. Number one is always closest to the timing chain on four cylinders, timing belt, timing chain on four cylinders. So it runs from that back to the distributor, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to start at number one and we're going to go ahead and uh, reposition the camera and take a look at the uh, image. So Got it in there nice and tight. I live in the Midwest, so you can see there's some rust on this car. So I'm just trying to get the uh, gauge in position where we can see it. Um, I can't really zoom in and too close. So I've got it in there. Once again, all the plugs are out, so the motor will free spin. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a crank, jump in the car, give it a crank. I'm going to let it crank probably about 10 or 15 seconds, and you'll see the different pulses and where it maxes out. So the cylinder maxed out at 195 PSI. Um, I think the Civic's specs about in the EX of the 9.6-1 pistons is about 190, 195. So it was, it was fairly strong. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do these all the way through. Um, all four, so we're going to speed up the rest of these. All right, here we go. So I got it sped up pretty good. Once again, I'm going to go through these one, one through four, uh, crank it, let it crank over about 10 or 15 seconds, come back, check it. There's a little relief on the side of the body there when you see me pushing it to dump the pressure out. And I'm just going to run through these one at a time. Now, the first three cylinders are probably stronger at 195, and I think cylinder four was sitting down about 180, 185 is a little low. So, you know, nothing too uh, crazy, nothing too surprising. I wasn't having... Uh, any kind of performance issues and the reasoning I did this. I just wanted to show an example of how um, easy a compression test is to actually do. You know, we use compression testing to 
help diagnose engine problems, performance issues, things like that nature. I don't didn't really have anything on this car other than it was you know it lacked a little performance, but with ex, you know it's kind of expected with the age. So I wasn't super concerned with the results or what was gonna come up, but like I said, I just wanted to make the video to show people how pretty how easy it is to do this and um, you know with some common tools. You can see there just a little bit that compression was a little lower than the other ones, and it's kind of hard to see. I realize they been nice to get. The numbers all the way up, but you can kind of see if you look at through the video, they're just a little lower. So pretty simple. And uh, like I said, once I get this engine engine broken in, uh, since I rebuilt it, I'll do another compression test and we'll take a look. Um, 